So hello guys, uh, my name is Mitchell from Mitchell Accessories and Electronics and today I'll be showing you how to connect uh, your Felicity inverter to your Seaward battery even without using the communication uh, cables. So here we have uh, a setup we just did for a client and uh, to communicate this system, uh, the Felicity inverter to the battery, you just have to use the parameters that is set for the Seaward lithium battery. So as you can see here, bring the camera closer. These are some of the parameters that the Seaward uh, battery comes with. So once we go into our Felicity inverter manual, so where we check for the parameters. So we come to, we enter the settings mode. So we go to um, the first one, which is the bulk charging. The bulk charging, okay, that's not the first one, sorry. We go to the first one, which is the output frequency, which is uh, always uh, 50 hertz. That's what we use in Nigeria. Then the utility input uh, range, you just set it on UPS, which is the next one. You leave it on UPS, meaning that uh, um, the utility is good and it, is, it should be able to charge the system very well. So the battery type, when we come to the battery type, we put it on use. Because that's what a uh, seawater uh, lithium battery stated here. You can see it. This is a battery type. You put it on use. So then we go to the max utility charging current, which is utility, which is external. So we set it to 20 because we don't want uh, too much consumption from the grid and we don't want uh, the amperage to exceed 20 amps. So then we go to the next one, which is the bulk charging. The bulk charging, we've already set it to 55.8. So, but to do this, you just uh, have to navigate through the, through the up and the down. So, this is where it is. You can see here, bulk charging, 55.8. So, you go to the next one, which is the float charging. You set the float charging to 55.5. If you see it on the seaward battery, You have 55.5. So the charging priority, we use a PV and utility, which is PAU. Uh, then the next one is the max charging current. Max charging current is the additional um, charging current of the solar and the grid. So we don't want that to exceed 80 amps. Uh, so we'll go to the next one. Then the low voltage DC cutoff. The low voltage DC cutoff for uh, different companies, it differs. For Seaward lithium battery, the low voltage DC cutoff is 48. So we've already set that to 48 volts, as you can see here, which is a BCU. So that's the low voltage uh, DC cutoff. Uh, then there are other functions here, but uh, these are the main ones. Then uh, where you get the, I think it's a, a function, uh, function 16, when you go to the BMS, that's not necessary. Since you don't, uh, you are using uh, different companies, you just leave it at the place it is. They have already come in, you have already set these parameters. So the inverter knows how to treat this battery, not to overcharge this. It knows when to cut off. It knows when it's full and it's cut off on its own. So this is like a good communication and it works very well. Thank you.